America's biggest companies are making a new pledge, and shareholder return is no longer the main objective. The Business Roundtable is changing its statement of, quote, the purpose of a corporation, end quote. The influential business group says decisions should no longer be based solely on whether they will yield higher profits for all shareholders. Instead, they should take all stakeholders into account, including employees, customers, and community. So what could this new change to the corporate mission statement potentially mean for you? Joining us to talk about it is Charles Elson. He's director of the Weinberg Center for Corporate Governance at the University of Delaware. Thanks for joining us tonight. Great to be with you. You're not exactly enamored of this change in the mission statement, are you? Not at all. It, it frankly is a rerun of the mission statements that you saw in many corporations 30 years ago, which re led to the whole corporate governance movement, uh, the shareholder rights movement, because frankly, the more people you are, quote, accountable for, to, the less likely a bad decision will ever have any, uh, any consequence to you. It's like your watch. If the watch stops, it still gets the time right twice a day. If you've got multiple constituencies you answer to, you're going to get right for somebody, but that doesn't mean a healthy business. And for shareholders, being deep six like this, particularly given the fact that today everyone's a shareholder through their retirement plans, state pension plans and whatnot. Uh, it really will harm, I think, accountability of management to the uh, shareholders and the public, frankly. Those who support this move, though, say it's a recognition that corporations need to do more to help balance out the ever-growing income inequality, and that may mean engaging more with their employees and their community, but it doesn't sound like, like you would be a fan of that. Well, you know, today a good uh, a shareholder profit corporation has to take into account its employees in the community. You're never going to get long-term profitability, which is what Delaware law has always said is the is the raison d'etre of the corporation to uh, 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 to get to profitability unless you take care of the stakes, uh, whether it's the employees, the community, uh, customers, and suppliers. Everyone does that, but to change the pole star to reflect everybody, if you will loses a, a sense of accountability and ultimately creates a real mess. Again, you know, we're all shareholders today. Right. We all benefit when the company does well. And I think what they've done is gone back 30 years, which, and that was really, that the, the climate then created the economic dislocations that uh, resulted in what we're doing today. If they feel that strongly about it uh, on pay and whatnot, let them cut their pay by a two thirds or so and give it back to their employees. But they're not going to do that, yeah. and that's the that's what, that's why this thing is a little disingenuous. I have great respect for the business roundtable, but this thing was a bit self-serving in my view. Charles Olson with the University of Delaware. Thanks for your thoughts tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you.